Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to update your Garmin Nuvi 2360 GPS. Now, keep in mind that there are two types of updates that you need to do to your Garmin Nuvi GPS. One is a map update for which I have a different video. I've already posted that previously. But this is the software and firmware update which is also required for it to accommodate the new maps. So basically you have to do both a map update and a software update which includes all kinds of different uh, software and firmware for the hardware inside the GPS. Okay, so first thing which we need to do, so this is our Garmin Nuvi. First thing you need to do is turn it on. okay after you turn it on only then plug it into your computer with the USB cable not before turning it on okay <clears throat> so we wait for it to fully load to the welcome screen okay so there is the you know agree do not agree whatever that is screen so now we're going to click OK. And now we are going to plug it in. Watch. Watch what happens when you plug it in. See how it switched to PC mode? That's what happens when you plug it in. OK. So now we're going to see how to update it. In order to update it, you don't have to go inside the GPS and look at each file and folder. You don't have to do that. Close that. You have to open or double click on Garmin Web Updater. Garmin Web Updater. Then you click Next. It will find the unit. Then you click Next. So this one already had the updates, but there are additional updates but we need to proceed. But you could reinstall the same version or go for additional we don't need to waste time reinstalling the same version so we're gonna go for additional updates okay the additional updates are all these updates that you see which are language updates mostly and you don't need all of them but why not just take them all and uh, you know update all of them the only one that I didn't update is the enterprise holding DDB file. The, this GPS was auctioned off from a, a car rental company and you don't need uh, that file because that file is proprietary. So get all the updates except for that one. And there you go. Languages. You could choose a language or not choose. The TTS stands for text to speech, meaning Every language that has the TTS uh, uh, extension, uh, it will speak the street names uh, for every turn. Like it, it's not going to tell you turn right on Broadway. It's not going to tell you turn right or turn left. It's going to tell you turn right on Broadway or turn left on, let's say, Second Avenue, like that. So we're going to go next. So you have to agree to the license agreement and whatnot, and go next, and it will install the updates uh, updates fairly quickly and once all the updates are done you just click on click on finish and basically that's that's the procedure that you need to follow uh, during the process of the update the GPS will flicker a couple of times but which is completely normal when it flickers it's all good you don't have to be, you know, panic or worry why it, it is flickering and whatnot. It's completely normal. And uh, let's see if the update is done. And uh, so let's see. Okay, so we are almost there. We're almost there. The update's almost there. By the way, I'm using um, VMAX software which is a very good software for screen recording and multiple cameras and whatnot in case you're wondering 
what's all that chaotic, uh, like studio-looking background in my desktop. That's the actual software I'm using. It's called vMix. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm using, vMix. Okay, so there you go. All the updates were successful and uh, everything looks good. No errors or anything. So we click on finish. And once you click on finish, what you do is you simply take the USB cable and unplug from the GPS unit. The GPS unit may not remain on, so you have to have the docking port available to turn it back on, which I'm going to do. There you go. And it's good to go. Okay, so I hope this video was educational and you learned something. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.